Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a video all about what I pack in my girls carry on luggage when we go on a long haul flight and I've been meaning to do this video for absolutely ages. It's one of the things that I get asked about quite a lot because we are very very lucky to travel quite a bit due to my blog and my work as a family and it's one of the things that I do get asked about a lot. I wanted to sit down and do a really in-depth kind of interesting and arty video all about it. I've been meaning to do it all week but as usual I've left it till the last minute and we are two hours away from flying to Dubai and I thought I really do want to film this and so I thought I would just kind of do it and just kind of get it done so apologies if it's not the most arty or kind of well shot video I'm also exceptionally sweaty because it's the hottest day of the year so far in the UK today and so yeah it's not making for good packing weather but I thought I would just show you what I have got for them and what I am going to be doing to keep them entertained on this long haul flight and if you haven't watched my channel before my name is Katie and I have three little three little girls three, three children two little girls age six and four and one baby boy who is just over one he's 13 months old so I would love it for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and let me get cracking and show you what I am packing for them for this flight to Dubai so the carry-on luggage that we use for them we have been using for years and we absolutely love them they're from pink lining and I don't think they'll do these particular ones anymore because like I said they are a couple of years old but I am sure that they will do similar and they're just perfect for them they're the perfect size for carry-on luggage they are really easy for them to push around and we did have trunkies for a while and I just found them quite a stress I know that some people get on with them really well but we just found them quite stressful and yeah so we have these and they have done us really well and we absolutely love them they are actually getting a bit tatty now that's pen on there so we should probably get some more but this is Maddie's and this is Lottie's and I will just kind of dig in and show you what I am packing for them so first up I will always pack their headphones I also do pack them an iPad each they're very lucky because where I used to work they used to give us iPads for um, Christmas presents so we've got two they're really old now they're about six years old but they still work perfectly so they both have an iPad each in their plane bags we actually are kind of class them as our iPads but so we can basically take them off them when they've had too much time on them but yeah they'll be in their suitcases but at the moment they are charging and I got these headphones on Amazon I don't know what make they are it's not focusing either that's useful oh they are groove headphones and we have again had these for years we've got they do them in all different colors and we just find them really good so we have them for them to listen to on the plane these are a new addition to our luggage and they are part of when you fly on Emirates they give you these little um, little dudes and in the back they have a blanket and both my girls love snuggling up on a blanket on a plane so that's why we have got both of those in there and then in terms of how we do it in terms of their luggage and their carry-on luggage what we do is we call them plane bags and we don't let them see what's inside these plane bags until we are up in the air and the seat sign is turned off and we just find that that really works works well because they get really excited about what's going to be in their suitcases and it just kind of works really well for them so we will never let them see what's inside before we go and we won't let them have them until they get up in the plane and the seatbelt signs have been taken off so I basically just look around and I spend like months at a time searching for little bits I try and do them as cost effectively as possible because you know I have two children well I have three but he's not um, at the stage where he needs one yet and so I try and hunt around in sort of kind of bargain shops so I'll look in places like the supermarkets I'll look on eBay I will look in Tiger which is another really good one and I'll just look around for deals and I'll put them in their kind of um, store them away and keep them for when we next go on a flight so I'll just kind of give you a bit of a brief example of what I've got so for example I pack them both kind of activity books each and as you can see this was from the works which is so good for things like this and it was just two pounds and it's just got loads of different activities to keep her entertained on the plane so I got her that and similarly for her sister I got her this one which again was three pounds and it's just a big white clean numbers book that she can use and she can sort of wipe clean and use again and again so 
those are the type of things that I get so I'll always get them an activity book likewise I will always get Maddie a set of books just because she's book mad she's really Dennis the Menace mad at the moment so um, my mum actually got these for her and again you can see they were only five pounds for three and she'll love looking at those on the plane Lottie's a little bit sort of too young to kind of read books on her own but I have got her a Peppa Pig magazine for her to have a look at and then the kind of things that I've got, like I said, I go to Tiger a lot because Tiger is really cheap and has really small little things that children just love. And a lot of this stuff, you might say, isn't plain kind of, you know, it's quite big. But because we've got these suitcases, they can all just be put in there and they're absolutely fine. So, for example, I've got things like this little Knots and Crosses set, so they can play that on the plane. And I think that was something like 50p. I've got this, which I actually have bought them before. This was about a pound, and it's a dinosaur um, excavation kit. And it's not going to focus. And basically, that's, again, from Tiger. And it's just rocks, and you have to sort of dig to get the, um, get the dinosaur out of the rocks. And it's not actually too messy. So I just get things like that, really, things to kind of keep them entertained. I got Maddie a wears Wally book because she's wears Wally mad and I thought this one was small enough to be travel size and I've even got my mum helping me now she helps me sort of find things to get these are a little bit bigger than what I would normally do and they're I don't normally shop at Schmiggle for stuff for them but they had a really good offer on where I think it was like 40% off so I just got mad this little pencil case am I going to be able to open this one-handed I should have thought about that really shouldn't I let me just try and unzip it. So again, it's got all these different things that she can do and play with on the plane. So she's got pencils and she's got um, crayons and things in there. And I just thought that was good to keep them all together and safe so she doesn't lose them. She's football mad at the moment, hence why there's a little bit of a football theme. So again, that was from Schmiggle. And we basically got that because it was on a really good special offer. But it's just an exercise book for her to do some writing and maybe to do a scrapbook of her trip I got her well my mum again actually got these on eBay these are fidget spinners which obviously everybody is obsessed with at the moment and this is a light up one and because it was from eBay I think it was something like two pounds and I got Lottie one as well just because again it's just something to open it's just all these things are kind of things that they can open on the plane and they can play with and they can just enjoy and Again, this was from Schmiggle. I don't even quite know what this was, but it was a really good special offer. And it's like a 3D space activity book, which you can scratch off. So I got her one of those. And then finally, from Tiger, again, I have got her a um, one of these, which, again, she's actually had before, but they are so good and so cheap. And basically, you get all the stickers at the back, and you have to make faces on all the different pages. And she absolutely loved that last time, so I thought I would get her that again. And then finally, I just pack a few sort of sweetie snacks and a little Lego minifigure to open and then apart from that I have got all these Lego cards which are free at the moment with Sainsbury's shopping and I splashed out and got her the book because I thought that that would be really interesting to have a look at and read on the plane so that's Maddie and then Lottie I will whiz through really quickly because hers are very similar so she's got the pencil case from Schmiggle again she's got the little knots and crosses set she's got this which I picked up from Tiger for 50p which is just a maze game and I thought that that would keep her entertained on the plane as well sweets and things she's got this which is a really good I definitely recommend this she's actually had this in her plane bag before but I just took it out and put it in again so it's a hundred things for little children to do on a journey and basically it's just cards and it gives different activities on each card so for example use your pen to join the butterflies that are exactly the same and then it's got something else on the back and that kept them entertained for absolutely hours last time so I've put that back in for her I've got her again from eBay which was really really cheap I think it was something like 20p eBay is really really good to kind of look for stuff like this I got her this um, Paw Patrol colouring book because she's obsessed with Paw Patrol I got her the same activity book as Maddie I got her a little Paw Patrol pen which was from Primark and again was like 
50p or a pound I think and again a Lego sort of set as well and that's pretty much it so that's all that we will pack for them in terms of carry-on stuff but we will pack their pajamas if we're going on a night flight and we will change them into those really quickly but I normally put those in my bag and we will also pack their cuddly toys but they are with them at the moment so we'll pack their pongo and Lottie's Baba and they'll be there ready for them to snuggle on the plane and that's pretty much it of what I take for them. So yes, apologies for the fact that I wasn't the most kind of arty and in-depth and exciting video I've ever done, but I really wanted to film and show kind of what I pack for them just because I know that it's really interesting and it also can be quite daunting if you've never gone on a long haul flight or even flown with your children before as to what to take them to entertain them. But I find, to be honest with you, even just watching the entertainment or having your phone to play with if you don't have an iPad or anything like that and they'll be absolutely fine, a sticker book and a magazine and generally you'd be really surprised. It is really nerve-wracking flying, especially long haul with young children because you just don't know what to expect but touch wood, we have never had a flight where it has been horrendous. You know, it's been long in times but for the most part it's been really good and they most pretty much will surprise you and you'll find that they actually entertain themselves really well and you would be worrying over nothing. But yes, apologies that it's not the most kind of exciting video but hopefully it helped give you some ideas about what to pack for your children on a flight and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.